In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to catch live pinfish and use them for bait. Pinfish is a small bait fish that's eaten by popular game fish such as tarpon, jacks, barracuda, and sharks. It is also probably the most abundant bait fish in our area, being more common than other bait fish like pilchards or mullet. We're going to show you two ways to catch pinfish, with a pinfish trap and hook and line. All right, so these are the items we're going to be using to catch the pinfish with the pinfish trap. We have our pinfish trap, we have a rope tied to our buoy, we have some tournament blue chum, and some extra um, shrimp and squid and all this stuff that we're going to throw into the uh, chum as well. The trap features a center compartment for chum to attract the pinfish and two holes on either side in which the pinfish enter the cage. These holes have prongs that point in towards the center of the cage, so the fish have no problem going in, but bump into the prongs if they attempt to exit the cage. This is surprisingly effective. So here we're looking for a good spot to drop the cage, and what we're looking for is a shallow area covered in seagrass. We picked a spot near some mangroves that was 3 feet deep. Bite-sized pinfish like to hide in seagrass, so this is a good spot to drop the trap. Or you could even try your luck with a cast net if you have one. So now that we have our chum and our bait in there, we're going to toss this in. And we're going to toss our buoy in and come back later and hopefully catch some pinfish in there. We're right on top of some nice seagrass, so that's usually where the pinfish are at. After the trap is placed, we head on over to our spot to catch pinfish using hook and line. When fishing for pinfish with hook and line, the exact location doesn't really matter since pinfish are pretty much swimming around anywhere. We decided to anchor up by a residential canal that we've caught pinfish from before and we brought chum to attract them just in case they weren't there. As far as bait, keep it simple. Tiny pieces of shrimp and squid on small hooks. A lot of people recommend using a sabiki rig, and sure that would make this process faster, but sabiki rigs in my opinion are a hassle to deal with, they get tangled easily, and get hooked on literally anything in existence. I'm using a 1 16th ounce yellowtail candy jig to give the setup a bit of weight. No need for something like an egg sinker, in fact from our experience pinfish prefer to eat somewhere between the upper and middle areas of the water column. In about an hour, we caught 15 to 20 pinfish. Feel free to bring a younger sibling or cousin to both help with the job and to give them some fishing lessons. After this, we headed back to our pinfish trap and found a couple more fish, and even a tiny crab that would be perfect for tarpon bait, but we let it go. We put some fresh chum in the trap, redeployed it, and drove back home. So we've talked about how to catch bait, but now let's use a small fish to catch big fish. Usually we like to use pinfish to catch tarpon, but we haven't seen too many around just yet. Maybe they'll be more active in a few weeks. Instead, we cut pinfish in half to catch some sharks. In our area, we have bonnet heads, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, and spinner sharks, and they all put up an impressive fight. As far as terminal tackle, I'm using 50 pound braid, one foot of 30 pound steel leader, and an 8 aught hook. Conveniently for us, we have a sandbar right in front of our property, and sharks love to cruise around there. To get the bait on the sandbar, I prefer to use a round bait caster reel, specifically the Pisifun Chaos, which casts much farther than a spinning reel. Once the bait is on the sandbar, it's simply a waiting game. Just keep reeling. Oh yeah, there you go. I think you got it again. Probably one of the bonnet heads. Yeah, they look Careful with the uh, the poles. Oh, yeah. Oh no, oh. you went the other way. Turn around. Another bonnet head.
Oh, a little it. lemon. Is it? Yeah, a lemon. Yeah, a lemon. Not a bonnet. Not a bonnet, a lemon. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this will help you to catch some pinfish of your own and catch some huge game fish with it. We do have some previous videos of us catching monster fish with live pinfish, including a tarpon and about a 5 foot lemon shark. So feel free to check out those videos if you're interested. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.